How can I keep begging for this whenever you visit me? Come on, Sophia. You're my girlfriend and I deserve this. Really? How did you deserve it? Have you paid my bride price? Listen, Clinton, you're not my husband, but just a boyfriend. Don't say that again. You don't deserve my body, please. Really? Oh, yes, Clinton. I can't let you take away my virginity because you haven't married me yet. So you mean you've never had sex with any man? Is that what you want me to believe? Clinton, I'm not forcing you to believe me. Whether you believe me or not, the message still remains that I, Sophia, won't give in to this. Period. And how does punishing me with this make you feel? Well, please be myself. If you truly love me as you claim, you have to wait for it till our wedding night. Come on, I can't lose my virginity to a man whom I'm not sure of his stand in my life. I would be a fool if I do so. Sophie, you know I love you and um, I've been working hard lately to make sure I take good care of you. Why don't you be patient with me? You keep raising this marriage issue as if it's you alone who is interested in marriage. Come on, I also want to settle down as soon as possible and that's why you see me hustling so hard these days. Of course, we both will get married someday and start up a family. But for now, let's be more focused on building a brighter future. Or do you want us to keep living in this one room even after marriage? Come on, Sophia, stop being frigid. Let's enjoy each other in this relationship. Clinton, I fully understood what you just explained here. But I still want to have an assurance that you won't ditch me for someone else after getting what you want from me. <laughs> Is that what your mind tells you? Come on, sweetie, stop. Stop thinking such negative things. Everyone in this vicinity knows that you are my one and only girlfriend. Besides, you haven't visited me at any time and saw another lady here. Stop thinking about such, babe. You are the angel I have in my life. Come on, babe, listen up for me. Now what for that baby? Oh? That girl is a very mean girl. Is she no grief for you? Get rid of her and find another correct babe. Don't worry, I will surely get what I want. I am a sharp shooter that never misses his target. <laughs> <laughs> Clinton the sharp shooter, I hear you. <laughs> Don't mind her. She wants to force me into marriage in this kind of economy we are in. Who still they marry for this kind of economy? <laughs> As I did like this, eh, I look for a rich lady. We go marry me self. Ah, marry you herself. The way they marry people now, I'm praying for a woman that will come pay my dowry. <laughs> MD, you are super crazy. <laughs> MD, hope you know that if a woman pays your dowry, you would have to change your father's name to her own son name. No, Wahala. Who my father's name help? Has it changed my life since I have been bearing it? I will still drop it immediately and bear my rich wife's name. So far, not the tire owner. <laughs> my dear, so far, don't tire me. Okay, now. You better discard that village girl and start searching for a rich lady. To date broke babes, don't cast things. New update where they on board now is to date a rich working class lady, regardless of the age or physical structure. Even if she's as old as Methuselah or as muscular as my thousand, provided that she is rich. Me, MD, I'm not saying money is my goal. MD is ready to take a bull step. He's ready for a breakthrough. <laughs> Yes, so you better take a bold step into riches or wallow in poverty. Choose wisely. Try, my guy don't drop better codes. Sophia, don't even give in to that because a man who truly loves you would wait till your wedding night. I don't think that guy loves you. <sighs> I'm just confused. What are you confused about? Don't tell me that you are willing to give your body to a guy whom you just started dating last month. He hasn't even seen your family members. Don't even fall for that. Hmm. I, I actually love Clinton. He's a nice guy, but I'm just scared of being jilted. I don't want to experience that heartbreak. Then follow your mind. Listen to your spirit. Don't disobey. And my mom, on the other hand, is so strict. She would definitely kill me if I dare it. Of course, no parent would love to see their children making avoidable mistakes. Sophia, if that guy insists on sleeping with you, just break up with him because he doesn't love you. Hold on to your integrity as you wait on God to send you the right one. I should break up with him. Sophia, this is my candid advice. But he isn't trying to rape me. Why will I break up with him? Because it's obvious that the relationship is heading to nowhere. Really? But he said he wants to marry me. Hey, Sophia, I'm older than you and um, I have more experience on these relationship issues than you do. Listen, Sophia, 
a man who truly wants to marry you won't hesitate to show his intention don't fall for a victim of those playboys in the society whose jobs are to defy young girls and play with their emotions i'll be honest with you i don't think that clinton guy is being real in your relationship with him look well before you leave sophia daddy good afternoon sir yeah good afternoon jb welcome thank you how was school today school was great hope you finish your lunch during break time <laughs> then they ask that kind of question why not i finish everything and even lick plate joint shut up your mouth dear you lick plate joint what sort of stupid english is that daddy it's called pigeon english will you keep quiet before i slap you did i send you to school to go and speak that rubbish is that why i'm paying your school fees for you to speak pigeon english but daddy pigeon english is my mother tongue now sorry my father tongue self what nonsense are you saying Daddy, I mean you also speak such. That was the language I grew up hearing you speak. Shut up. So if I speak pigeon, you will also speak pigeon. But Daddy, you told me the other day to follow your footsteps. Shut up. And that's the one you would quickly imitate. Naughty boy. I don't want to ever hear you speak that nonsense in this house again. Come on, will you get out of here? Mommy, jam form is out and I want to register for jam this year. I need some money from you so I can go get the form. Sophia, I don't have anything on me at the moment. I'm here to get my salary for last month. So what do you want me to do? My mates are already getting admission into the university and I'm still here. Mommy, you're trying to tell me that you don't even have just money for the form. Sophia, I said I don't have. Do you want me to kill myself? Our house rent just expired last month and the landlord is already on my neck. I'm still running around looking for how to raise some cash for settling part of the rent. Do you even know the amount of debt that is on me currently? So this means I won't be going to university this year again. Gosh. Sophia, you can still go to the university later in the future. Let's not rush into things that we won't be able to finish. So what do you expect me to be doing with my life if I'm not going to the university for the whole of next year? Sophia, you have to go learn a skill. I have already talked to my friend, Madam Buki. She's a tailor and owns a shop in Nest Town. By next month, you will start going to her shop for training. You mean I should go and learn tailoring? What is bad about that? Tailoring is a good skill, mind you. It's going to be a knowledge that would benefit you in so many ways. Instead of being idle at home or walking to and through the street, why don't you go and acquire a skill? Gosh, I'm just depressed. I can't believe I'm this unfortunate. My mates are on campus. Why myself would be going from one village to learn one local skill? Gosh, why me? Clinton, please, I need this money from you. It's urgent. Babe, you know I'm a salary earner. Where do you expect me to get money from when the month hasn't ended? Please, can you borrow from your friends? Borrow from my friends? Which of my friends? From either Jasper or MD. Jasper and MD, who are also salary earners. Come on, they wouldn't have. Um, what about taking loan from your bank? The protocols are too much. It might even take longer than expected. Clinton, please help me get this money as soon as possible. I'm your girlfriend. Please come to my aid. You are my girlfriend, really? What do you mean by that? Are we not lovers? <laughs> lovers? Are you kidding me? Come on, we are just friends. Really? Just friends? And you're asking me to give you my body? Which you have not given me, and that makes me see you as a friend. Oh, really? Oh, yes. Had it been you giving in to my request, I would have gone out of my way to raise this money for you. But you bluntly refused to give me what I asked for, and here you are asking me to go extra mile for your sake. Relationship doesn't work that way now. So, Clinton, you mean that you can't help me out unless I get down with you? You see the reason why I said that guy doesn't love you? It's clear now that he's just playing with your feelings. Imagine, Clinton is asking me for sex before he can help me with some money. Gosh, I can't believe this. You better believe it. Don't ask him for that money again. I will advise you to follow your mother's advice so you won't fall into temptation. Cordelia, what are you saying? I should go and learn tailoring while my mates are in the university studying. Your mates who are in the university studying have sponsors who give them that privilege. You can't go there without following the due procedure and money is one of the major requirements. Come on, Sophia. You have to consider your mom. She's a widow who doesn't have anyone to help her. Why not go learn the skill she told you to learn? Cordin, I'm not going to learn that skill. I don't even have a flair for sewing. Why would I be forced to do what I don't like? 
all right if you don't have flair for that particular skill why don't you discuss that with your mom and also tell her the kind of skill you would want to learn none i don't want to learn any skill i want to go to the university Hmm. and do you intend raising money to enroll yourself in the university come on don't keep whiling away your time time is precious and should be used wisely there is nothing on earth that will convince me otherwise cordelia didn't you learn how to make beads you also learned how to style and weave the hair tell me for over one year you've been managing that your shop how much have you made from it come on all these petty businesses are time wasting Hey, <laughs> is that what you think? For information, I do get money from my skills, but I've been investing them on my younger ones for now. As the first daughter of my late dad, I have to support my mom in raising up my younger ones. Last week, I just paid my last born common entrance exam fee. Imagine, if I had never acquired other skills, life would be more difficult for us. Sophia, go acquire a skill first. Support your mom, raise some money, and save for your education instead of you being idle or depending on a man. Hi Angel, how are you doing today? I'm doing great, Boo. And you? Same, dear. I've missed you so much. Ah, uh, miss you too. How is studies going over there? Going well, my dear. I've been so busy throughout this month because we were writing exams. Oh, I thought as much. Are you guys done with exams? Yeah, done and dusted. <laughs> wow, that's good. I wish you success in your exams. Thank you. You're sounding like someone who is tired. Where are you now? I'm home, lying in my bed to be precise. Wow, big man. <laughs> you didn't go to work today. Nope. I'm a contract staff. I don't work every day. Oh, I remember. So how is life over there? How have you been coping? By God's grace, life has been good. We keep pushing and we keep showing up. Yeah. Well done, boo. It is well. I called to hear from you. It's been a while. I thought you've forgotten me. Oh my goodness, why will I forget you? You are always the queen of my heart. Uh huh, I'm blushing. <laughs> I have really missed you. I can't wait to see your pretty face again. Hope you are visiting Motherland this year. It's been a long while. Don't worry, dear. I'm going to visit Motherland before the end of this year. My eldest sister is getting married and I would have to travel down for that wedding. So I'll see you soon, boo. Oh my goodness. I can't wait. Let me start putting my house in order. The queen of my kingdom is visiting soon. <laughs> Clinton, please stop teasing me. You're funny. <laughs> she did Chris. She thinks I'll be for that Christmas. She does see Mumu. Imagine the audacity that I should go borrow money from the bank as what? As my wife? That lady must be an over-demanding type. Mm -hmm. That means if she finally get admission into the university, you would be one to sponsor her education. No? <laughs> because I decrease. Sure, I know get sense. I won't only sponsor her education. I'll also sponsor her to Planet Mars. <laughs> My guy, no go kill me with laughing. Well, this your baby. She thinks she's smart. She doesn't want to dance to my tune, but she wants me to dance to her own tune. She's just wasting her time. But what if she gives into your demand because of this? Would you go to the bank to take a loan on her behalf? For what? Waiting she won't give me na good? Bro, I go chop clean mouth. She no go still see she she. <laughs> ah, Clinton, like you won't make everyone know. This is so mean of you. <laughs> if Clinton is serious about sponsoring my education, I don't mind giving in to his demands. Hmm, Sophia, are you the one saying this? What do you want me to do? It's obvious that my mom can't afford what it takes to enroll me into the university. Why won't I yield to someone who is willing to help me out? And who told you that Clayton wants to help out? Someone who can't even afford jam registration fee. You better don't allow him to deceive you. Cordelia, Clayton has the money. Oh yes, but he doesn't want to support me because I haven't granted him his wish. Sophia, don't be deceived. Clayton no get shishi. Na bro guy be. Are you insulting my boyfriend right in front of me? Sophia, I'm not insulting him. I'm just telling you the real fact. Hold it. Please, don't you ever insult my boyfriend again. Don't. Alright, I'm sorry for being insensitive with my words. Better. Listen, I love Clinton so much and I don't care what people say about him. Clinton has good intentions for me and all he wants from me is just a proof of my love. Hmm. And you think giving in to his demand will make him love you more? Of course. It will also build up some level of intimacy and trust in our relationship. Hmm. Is that what you think? That's what it is. Hmm. You better think twice though. Babe, meet my friend MD. MD, meet my baby girl, Sophia. <laughs> oh, so this is the Sophia I've been hearing about. 
Nice to meet you, Mr. MD. Nice to meet you, my dear Sophia. Welcome. You find share, but you know too fine like that. Ta, keep quiet. What nonsense are you saying? B, please, I'm sorry for that. Silly talk. It's fine. Why are you telling her sorry? Sorry for what? Did I beat her? Now just talk, I talk. And what kind of mumu talk was that? Please, if you want to talk to my babe, do that with courtesy and caution. <laughs> no, Allah. I can see that you are really referencing this lady like an idol. What makes her special? Is it because she is still a virgin? They dare yeah, they deceive yourself. Say you did date virgin. Someone that is brainwashing you with fake virginity. What? Oh my gosh. I feel embarrassed. Babe, please calm down. Um, sorry about that. It's not what you think. Clinton, so you've been going around telling people my life history. Oh no, I never did such. This guy here is a crazy fellow. Trust me, I will handle this. <laughs> now wow, the love knows you. See the way he is begging her, as if she's the one holding his breath of life. I was really embarrassed today. Gosh. That's crazy. If Clinton never told his friends anything about you, how come do they know that you are a virgin? Same question I've been asking myself. So Clinton has been gossiping about me with his friends. Hmm, that's bad. The reason why I never liked that Clinton, he looks white to me. And as for that his silly friend, I'm so disappointed in him. Even if Clinton told him such, why didn't he bridle his tongue? Is that the kind of friends he keeps? Honestly, I'm so disappointed in Clinton. I feel like slapping that his silly friend today. Hmm, thank God you didn't. You would have brought upon yourself more embarrassment. Ignoring him was the best option. Hmm. I'm so angry with Clinton. He has been calling my phone since I left there, but I refuse to take his calls. Why? Because I'm mad at him. I don't want to talk to him for now. Just take his call and express your anger to him. I might insult him in a terrible way. You know I can be hot-tempered most times when I'm angry. I will just ignore him for now. Alright, if that's the best way you wish to handle it, it's fine. MD, you fuck up. Why you go talk that kind of thing? I was even giving him some signals to keep quiet, but he ignored me. Indy, why will you do such? Don't you know your action can ruin his relationship? Of course, he has ruined my relationship with Sophia. She no longer takes my calls. MD, I hope you are happy now. Of course, I'm very happy because I don't even like that lady. Why? She's not looking real to me. She looks like someone who is hiding so many skeletons in her cupboard. MD, just stop all this nonsense you are doing. Don't try that again. What's your problem? Why can't you control your tongue? <laughs> I should control my tongue. No, Allah. Just get me tongue controlling remote. So I will start controlling my tongue. <laughs> MD, you must be crazy. So crazy. See this guy, you. You are not even remorseful. Remorseful of what? Should I go lie on her feet and beg her? Yes. You have to go beg Sophia yourself because you are the one who humiliated her. I should go beg Sophia. As what? As Queen of Sheba or Queen of Elizabeth. My friend, get away, you. MD, you have to go apologize to that lady because you really hurt her. I hurt her with what? Cutlass or dagger? If you don't apologize to her, don't ever come close to me again. I can't keep you as a friend. Clinton, calm down. It hasn't gotten to that. Jasper, don't tell me that. MD keeps taking people for granted. He humiliated my girlfriend and refused to apologize. Come on, get away you. Why would I apologize to that small rat? Who she be? Ah, come over here. Jasper, did you hear that? Clinton, calm down. No vex. Don't worry. I will go apologize on his behalf for peace to ring. Babe, I'm very sorry for what happened the other day at the restaurant. Please find a place in your heart to forgive us. I should forgive you after your friend gave me the biggest humiliation of my life. Babe, I'm sorry. It will never happen again. I have caught ties with the idiot. Really? You've caught times with him? But you still left my secrets with him. Clinton, how dare you go about telling people secret things about me? Is that how you behave? Come on, I expect you to be more mature than this. Babe, I'm sorry. Actually, I didn't discuss anything about you with him. So how does he know that I'm still a virgin? I never discussed such with him. He overheard me saying that to someone else. And who were you saying that to? My godfather. We were speaking over the phone that very day. And why are you discussing that with your godfather? I had told him about you. So he was asking me some questions about you that very day. Actually, what led to the conversation was the fact that um, I, I, I told him that I was impressed that you are still a virgin in such kind of generation we are in. Where moral decadence is on the high side. I actually told him about the soft spot I have for you and how I would like to do life with you. Really? You told him all that? Yeah, I did. Trust me. Babe, you know I love you so much and I want us to be together for life. I don't want you to think otherwise because of what that idiot said to you. I'm proud of you, my love, and I trust you with my whole heart. I love you to the moon and back, baby. 
Oh, I love you too. He came here today to apologize. And you've forgiven him, right? Yeah, I had to forgive him. He told me that he has a friend that foolish man and I'm happy about that. Hey, I hope he won't keep telling others your secrets. He didn't even tell the idiot anything. The fool he drops on his conversation with his godfather. The MD guy overheard him telling his godfather the special qualities he found in me. That makes him want to settle down with me. Really? He said such? He wants to marry you? Yeah, that was what he said. I was so surprised when he said that. Wow, I hope he's being honest. That's great, but he shouldn't force sex on you until he marries you. Hmm, I don't think so. Clinton might not accept that. And what would you do? Accept his own condition? Come on, you better don't be too cheap. Let him pay your bride price if he truly loves you. Hmm, if he's serious about settling with me, I don't mind granting him that wish. Hmm, and how would you know if he's serious? Sure, I would know. I'm not that dumb. I'll keep watching him. Hmm, you better be careful. Don't trust people because of the promises they made to you. Did Sam send you an invite for his birthday party? Yeah, he did. He's going to be having the party in the club. Yes, so Sam a big boy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he is. Now only him know what they give her money. Don't mind him, he no one share update with us. <laughs> so tell me, are you attending the party? Sure, Sam is my very good friend. I'll have to go show him love on that day. Won't you attend the party? Sure, if I don't attend, who will? <laughs> I foresee, not be you again. Just part the show stopper. Stop teasing me, bro. <laughs> so how are we going to pull up on this party? We gotta go with babes. Yes, yeah, so clean babes. I'll ask Sophia to come with me and you. I'll just hire any lady out there. No fee stress myself, the toast woman. You are so funny. You better start looking for whom to hire. The party's just three days to go. Relax, hiring a lady is not an issue. I'll surely come with a lady that day. Trust me. <laughs> Jumbo, where are you just coming back from? I'm coming back from school. Can't you see that I'm still wearing my uniform? Will you shut up? You are just coming back from school. At this time, Jumbo, this is almost 6 p.m. School dismisses at 2 p.m. every day. Why are you returning home at this time? Daddy, I was having quiet time at school. Quiet time? What does that mean? The time when students think about their future. So you are thinking about your future at school? Exactly, Daddy. Something must be wrong with you. What were you thinking from 2 p.m. to 6 p.m.? Life and everything about life. Keep quiet, you liar. Come on, will you tell me the truth? What you were doing at school, or else I will vandalize your back. Daddy, I have already told you the truth. I said I was thinking about my life. So you are the only one who stayed back at school, thinking about his life? No, it wasn't just me. We were like 10. We were meditating on what our future would look like. Hmm, one that shall never cease to happen. Children of this generation are not okay at all. Not be madness with this one. Babe, I would like you to come with me to the party. Sure, I'll try to be there, but I have to make my head before then. I don't want to go with this old hairstyle. No problem, I'll give you some money to make your hair before you leave. Oh, thanks there. I'm grateful. You're welcome. You know you're like an angel to me. I would want you to appear like a dazzling star on that very day. A lot of my rich friends are going to attend that party and I would like to introduce you to them. Oh my, I'm getting shy already. <laughs> Don't be shy. A princess ought not to be shy. You are beautiful already. You just pepper them on that day. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, that reminds me. You know my birthday is coming up next month. Hope you're already making plans for a birthday bash. <laughs> oh my goodness. Trust me, we are shutting down this town for my baby girl's birthday. Why not? So you want to go clubbing? Yes. What's wrong with that? Would your mom permit you to sleep out? I won't tell her exactly where I'm going to. Hmm. So you want to lie to your mother just because you want to hang out with a man? I've always been telling her the truth all these years. One day lie won't kill her. Hmm, really? Why are you keen on attending that party? Must you be there? Oh yes, my boyfriend was invited. Your boyfriend and not you. Stop me in a wet blanket, Cordelia. How do you expect me to turn down my boyfriend's invitation? They invited him and he wants me to go with him. An all-night party? Would that be safe? Godzilla, please drop that negative energy. I don't like how you behave most times. Come on, this is an opportunity for my boyfriend and I to make memories. And you're telling me not to go. Hmm, okay, oh, it's fine, but just tell your mom the truth. Let her know where you are going to. I'm sorry, I can't. Because she'll definitely restrict me from leaving this house. I don't want her to ruin this, please. Yeah.
I'm standing at the bus stop now. Where are you? Okay, I'm there already. Hope that stupid guy is not coming with you. Better. Are you guys close? Oh, okay. That's fine. I'm waiting. <laughs> of course. Trust me now. <laughs> Alright. Please hurry up. I don't want to stand here for too long. Okay, dear. Alright. Wow. The party was lit. I really had fun. <laughs> the party lasted till dawn yeah it was fun till dawn wow i didn't know clubbing is this much fun field oh my gosh i would love to go there again hmm, you've been influenced already what do you mean by that that guy is already influencing you of course he also influenced me because he's my boyfriend he should influence you positively and not negatively Cordelia, what are you saying don't make me start seeing you like a jealous soul <laughs> jealous of what come on i can't even date your kind of man he's not my spec then mind your business i love him just the way he is hmm okay cordelia stop hating on my boyfriend if you want us to continue being friends like seriously sophia are you threatening me or what listen if you don't stop this attitude of talking down with my boyfriend i'll be forced to cut ties with you don't be silly, Sophia. If telling you the truth will make me a bad person, I would rather than allow you fall into a ditch. Excuse me. Cordelia, Cordelia, you walked out on me. Come on, I'm sorry. I was just joking. So you guys went out last night without informing me. Why should we inform you so you would insult someone's girlfriend again? That away you. What's the meaning of that statement? MD, that birthday party was strictly by invitation. We are sorry we couldn't invite you. The birthday was strictly by invitation, but you both went with your girlfriends. Was your girlfriend also invited? Anyway, I'm not even angry with both of you. Rather, I'm mad at Sam for not inviting me to his birthday party. A homie. Oga, keep quiet. Your kind are not supposed to be in that gathering. You would have caused commotion if you were there. Clinton, I don't blame you. I blame myself for associating with a vegetable like you. Look at this okra plant that doesn't have stamina in the land of the living. <laughs> MDI, you are super crazy. How dare you call someone that? See his big head like holding these WhatsApp ports. My friend, get out of here. <laughs> oh my gosh, these guys get bad mouth too. <laughs> oh okay, close your daddy teeth there. What's funny? Look at your crooked teeth like rabbit's own. Hey, don't ever insult me, Mr. Man. Got away you. What will you do if I insult you? How dare you laugh at me? Are you alright? MD, do you remember you are in my house? And so what? Please leave my house. I can't condone this madness again. I'm not leaving. Come and drag me away. Thanks for the meal. You're a very good cook. I really enjoyed your meal. It's my pleasure treating my baby girl like a queen. Oh, I'm brushing. Thank you. You are welcome, my angel. How is your mom? She's fine. Does she know about me? Um, yeah, I've been telling her about you. Really? What have you been telling her about me? <laughs> nice things, trust me. Wow, so glad to know this. Oh, you're a darling. Thank you, you're a sweetheart too. <laughs> oh my, permit me to blush. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I mean it, you're a sweetheart. Oh, thank you. I didn't know that until now. <laughs> really come on you're such a romantic guy and i love you for that keep it up <laughs> wow me romantic i'm over the moon thanks for the compliments babe i'll keep it coming you're my baby girl for life hello mr jasper good morning sir nice to see you again hi jumbo how are you i'm fine sir do you need anything like a glass of water no thank you i'm okay hey my friend will you go out of here is he your visitor or my visitor he is our visitor now. Let's entertain him. Come on, will you get out of here? Leave your jumbo. MD, why are you chasing him away? What wrong has he done? Mind your business. This is my family matter. Stop being mean, MD. Don't tell me that you are still angry because of what happened at my house, your daddy. Why won't I be angry? Jasper, you had the gall to send me out of your house. You, Jasper. Daddy, forgive and forget. Are you not a child of God? Thanks, my boy, for asking him that question. MD, forgive and forget. You are a child of God. I can see that there is something wrong with the both of you. Hi, sweetie. Hi, love. How are you today? I'm fine, and you? I'm doing fine. How is the weather over there? Great. How is yours? Same. Have you gotten a better job? Still searching, dear. Really? So how long have you been fending? My dear, it hasn't been easy. I'll be honest with you. 
Hey, yeah, I understand. Oh, it is well. How can I help out now? Don't worry, babe. I'll keep managing. I have to worry about my boo. I don't want you to keep going through such challenges. Gosh, I'm sad. Don't worry, my baby. I'll be fine. Are you sure? Don't worry. I'll send you some money by next week, I promise. Oh my gosh, do you have to do this? Of course, I have to support my boo. Because I want you to keep looking handsome for me. I don't want you to return and see you looking lean. You know we are going to flex six x months. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, that's so thoughtful of you, my lady. You are a queen indeed. Thank you, love.